Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Barre is in Doha for an official visit. Qatar charity pays incentives to health personnel in a hospital in Sudan. Qatar's post-FIFA tourism is thriving with a 91% surge in visitors. And finally, Neymar says he went through hell in Paris. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Somali Prime Minister Hamza Abdi Bari arrived in Doha on Monday for an official visit to the Gulf state. Bari is expected to meet Qatari Foreign Minister and Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani during his five day trip. The Somalia leader is also set to meet a delegation of Qatari businessmen, with a number of investment agreements expected to be signed between the two countries. Over in Sudan, Qatar charity paid incentives to medical staff for five months. The initiative means 89 staff at Al New Hospital in Omdurman have been given financial support as they continue to carry out their work. Qatar has rolled out a number of humanitarian projects in Sudan since the conflict was triggered earlier this year. This includes tons of aid as well as an operation to airlift civilians to safety. Back in Qatar, the Gulf state is continuing to build on its post-FIFA World Cup tourism momentum with the month of July reporting a 91.4% increase in visitors compared to the same month last year. An estimated 288,000 visitors arrived in Doha in July with 47% of the guest count coming from neighboring countries in the GCC. And finally, new Al Hilal superstar Neymar has made some massive claims. He said he and his former teammate Lionel Messi went through hell in their final season together in Paris. Speaking about Messi, Neymar said, quote, in my opinion, he was unfairly judged in Paris. He had an exit that, football-wise, he didn't deserve. Despite being heavy favorites to win the UEFA Champions League, the Parisians were dumped out 3-0 on aggregate by Bayern Munich in the round of 16. But this caused a severe backlash by the PSG ultras who booed the pair till their departures in the summer. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.